In this video, I'll be using my favorite neutral gray in milk paint, Gotham Gray, to paint this headboard. Milk paint is a perfect choice for painting over bare wood. It soaks in so nicely and is incredibly durable. We top coat with our all natural hemp oil to really bring the color to life. Finding the perfect gray for your furniture can be tricky, but we've got you covered here with our Gotham Gray in Milk Paint by Fusion. Here I'm gonna be painting this headboard that's gonna go into our root steamed room in our cottage series makeover, where the gray is really gonna be a staple color in this room. The room that it's going into is our root steamed room, where we're gonna have pops of red that is gonna be really vibrant and fun. So I wanted a gray that would work with those other colors, but not distract from them. I love painting bare wood furniture with milk paint, especially knotty pine because it's a really budget friendly option because not a lot of people wanna see all of those knots in the wood. But with milk paint, it's gonna go on so beautifully and look really rustic. Each coat of milk paint only takes about 15 to 30 minutes to dry. As this was drying, I could start to see that yellow tone coming through from the pine and this really wasn't fitting my vision. Because I didn't love the yellow tone coming through, to fix this, I decided to go ahead and add a second coat of paint just to give it a more solid finish, which would really help to block out that yellow tone coming through. To get our solid opaque finish, I mix one part powder to one part water. You can see how incredible the coverage is over the bare wood. It just soaks in so beautifully and offers such exceptional coverage. I really like this so much more than the stained washed effect version on the left. It's amazing how with just one color, by adding more water or more powder, you can get a completely different effect. And this is such a, the beauty of milk paint is that you're in control of the color, the finish and the effect. Applying the milk paint from end to end, you wanna make sure you have a nice even coating and make sure that you don't have any pooling happening. So you have to be really diligent when you're applying the milk paint with your brush, especially in the edges and the corners of this detailing. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, it's dried and you can really see how chalky, matte and flat the paint has gotten. I really am so confident now in my decision of going totally opaque with this. The left side and the stained wash effect just wasn't doing it for me. So not to worry, I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat over that. It's gonna even all out and look nice and flawless. For our top coat, here I'm going with hemp oil. Hemp oil is one of my favorite top coats to use because it's so easy to work with. All you do is brush it onto your surface and just watch that vibrancy of the milk paint come to life. That true color pops and becomes so nice and rich. The hemp oil adds a very soft matte sheen to your finish. Apply it with a brush and wipe off the excess in about 15 minutes. It's amazing the difference of the before and after when you add a top coat with milk paint. On the left here, it's got a coat of hemp oil over top of Gotham Gray and look at how rich that color is. On the right, we're gonna go ahead and add the hemp oil there and just see that vibrancy and richness pop. One thing to note when you're working with milk paint, especially on bare wood, is that because it's a water-based product, it'll slightly raise that wood grain, meaning that you'll get a little bit of texture on your surface. After I've applied my hemp oil, I like to take a very soft sanding pad, about four to 500 grit, and just wipe it over the top, back and forth a couple times, and you're gonna see it totally smoothen out and get super soft. After you've done your light sanding, I always like to give it a once over again with a clean cloth, which will help to remove any residual pigments on the surface. The result, a super smooth, flawless finish to the touch. I love how this Gotham gray piece turned out. It's 
an absolute perfect staple for this room. It doesn't jump out too much, but it absolutely solidifies the space. Pulling it through to the base of the bed, you can really see the contrast with the whitewashed floors. This truly looks like a quintessential Canadian cottage.